I actually arranged my time in Oregon specifically so that I could go to the holiday market this weekend. I am so excited because I get to go to the holiday market in Eugene this weekend. It is an extension of the Saturday market that happens spring, summer, fall, and in the holiday season, so the weekend before Thanksgiving until Christmas Eve at the fairgrounds, the Lane County Fairgrounds. It's this magical, bustling holiday market that is only handcrafted stuff. I am excited to see my friend Celeste. Uh, this is her watch that she makes. Uh, this was one of her first designs. It might have actually been her very first design. I met her two years ago at the Saturday market buying a watch from her. I'd forgotten about the holiday market until I was uh, I saw Celeste post on Facebook about her um, results from the first day of the market. Um, I always love it when when I see that she's had success. She's actually had quite a lot of success and a lot of um, publicity. And I was like, oh, the holiday market! I had totally forgotten about it. And so I actually arranged my time in Oregon specifically so that I could go to the holiday market this weekend. So I'm very excited to go. There's a food court, there's live music, and um, unfortunately I, I probably won't actually buy anything unless it's for myself and probably not that unless, I don't know, maybe some really, really comfy travel pants. Maybe the only thing, or maybe a black belt. <laughs> um, anyway, now that, now that I'm thinking about the vendors, uh, my girls aren't really into the things that they have there, so that that's not going to be Christmas gifts. But I'm just excited to go. It's it's just a fun atmosphere. People, the the tables in the food court are all just community seating, and so you sit down with your food and you and uh, visit with people you don't know. It's just a very happy, fun place to be. And it's inside in December. You can spend all day there if you want to. I just pulled up to my friend Celeste's watch shop in Springfield, Oregon. She doesn't know I'm in town yet, <laughs> so I'm gonna surprise her. Hopefully she's there. She, I had her make a custom watch for one of my best friend's 60th birthday. And I want to give her the picture of the two of us when when I gave her the watch. So let's go see if she's in. She is. She's here. Oh, I'm just thinking about you. Oh my god, you're back. Oh, I thought you would like oh, this. I do like that. He That's gives that great. to you. It's great. <laughs> and she loved it, huh? Yeah. Check out the back. Oh, <laughs> the best gift ever. It has some really awesome new cases for the watches. Is that what you call it? Right, right. And some new bands. She's got metal bands now in addition to the hand sewn leather bands. So they actually hand stitch the bands here. Right. And they're super, they're just, they're beautiful and they last. Hand stitch because of the, the when you hand, hand sew anything, you have two needles and you go through each hole mm -hmm. at the same time and you lock, it lock each stitch to go. So if one stitch breaks, it doesn't matter. This seahorse watch is brand new. It's 27 pieces of abalone shell inlaid. And this color of the water I'm feeling especially proud of because I need it myself. I developed the color. So the sale though is so amazing because what I learned is that the mother of pearl that grows in the Philippines grows brown. So normally mother of pearl is white all over the world but except for in the Philippines because of the water. And uh, so this sky here is actually the brown mother of pearl that comes from the Philippines. And then the, the water is blue and it just looks like this sailboat is trying to outrace the storm most dynamic watch I've ever made. Valerie and 
and her dad had a watch made for her mom. Yes. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, she'll be thrilled. She will be absolutely thrilled. Oh, that is beautiful. It's everything we expected. This is a highly placed champion dog, a Norwich Terrier. And now she's selecting a band for it. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking that this color is going to be, don't you think? Yeah, well, I think it's beautiful. It's all about what she wears. Well, that was super fun to pop in on Celeste and visit with her, catch up with her. Um, she has some big plans uh, in the works, so send some good energy for her getting into a big show. She's on the wait list and so let's let's get her in. Today's Saturday. I'm staying at my friend Molly's uh, in West Eugene and I decided to take a break from the computer and um, come to the holiday market. I'm meeting someone here tomorrow but um, I just love this place and so I'm gonna go get some Rita's burritos. Um, just a salad really and um, and go check it out and probably run into my friend Celeste again. I'm here at the Holiday Market. I'm at the food court where the live music is. And I just ordered my burrito and I'm just waiting for that. Celeste's new displays where they're articulating arms makes it for a really cool, fun display. This is where I got the hat that you see me wearing all the time. So I think it's time to get a new black belt. I got the brown one last year. And so now, and I had planned to get the black one this year. So here's Dan with uh, Walling and Sons. Yeah? Walling and Sons, yes. Walling and Sons, and he is uh, replacing my buckle for the belt that I'm buying. I love buying home, uh, handmade local. And I actually met Dan probably four years ago when he was peddling wood, um, serving utensils and things, and have followed him over to the leather making booth. There is a lot of pottery here at the market, as you would expect. It's a very, very social market. Lots of booths with t-shirts. You can also get handmade shoes for little people and any size people. They're actually custom made. She takes a mold of your foot and makes your shoe for you. If the um, main 
holiday market is too much for you. There's also the holiday hall, and it's um, far less noisy, far less busy. So that was a little bit of a taste of the holiday market here in Eugene. Um, it's it's really something. You should check it out if, if you're ever in this area. Um, it's all local, handmade, and just a great vibe. Um, a lot of the vendors who are here are also at the Oregon Country Fair, which is um, just a huge hippie fest, very fun. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.